Credit, could you just say something for me, please? Just anything at all? My greatest wish, honorable friends, is that the truth should be told before my eyes finally close in death. Last night, I thought at long last I would find the rest I need. I cannot live in a world where there is so much evil. A world at the same time which has so much potential for good. I demand of the nations of the world, stop looting Africa, stop defiling my motherland. Listen to Africa, please. Listen to the a race already under sentence of death by American, British, and whatever scientists. We have been sentenced to death without being given a chance to, to plead in our own defense. We have been condemned like unwanted dogs. A disease was made specifically to destroy us. We have never been given a chance. Before the judgment seat of whatever imaginary God there may be, I demand that Africa should be given a hearing. I demand that Africa should not be destroyed until she has had her fullest chance to, to plead in her defense. Even a criminal standing on the very on the very edge of a scaffold still has a chance to speak in his or her defense. Africa, Africa has much to contribute to the world. And I speak as one who through no cleverness of my own, but through the blind hand of fate, I have been to many places in this world. Don't ask me about Japan. I know those fragrant islands. Don't ask me about Hawaii. I was there. Don't ask me about, about Peru about that mighty lake called Titicaca, where my African lungs could barely breathe. I want Africa to be given a fair hearing by the nations of the world before she is destroyed, because we are being destroyed. America, Britain and whatever monstrous creatures are skulking behind those nations have sentenced my people to death. But we Africans are the golden link that connects all humanity together. We should be listened to we have got a case to plead at the foot of the judgment seat of cruel humanity. I have lived. I have traveled. I feel no sense of achievement. I just feel a great sorrow that a human, a nation, can sentence another nation to death like so much of them. My wife of 40 years is dead. 
The woman who presented me with eight children is gone. My eyes are haunted by the memory of her. I, Credo Mutwa, have no right to breathe the air of this earth. I should die and go, go to hell in a bucket for all I can. But the truth must be spoken through these lips before they are silenced forever. Change. 